Are you ready to build your own e-commerce website? In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a complete e-commerce application using Mern Stack, step by step. Not just that, I will give you a live demo so you can see exactly how it works. Also, I will tell you how you can download the full source code, whether you are a beginner who wants to learn Mern or a developer who wants a ready-to-use project, this video is perfect for you. So stick around till end because you don't want to miss the source code. All right, our project is now running. Let me give you a quick demo of how this e-commerce work. To get started, simply sign in to your account. Don't have an account yet? No problem. Just sign up and you're ready to go. Now, browse through the product listings and click on any item to check out its details. Like what you see? Select your size and hit the Add to Cart button. It's that easy. Inside your cart, you can adjust the quantity of each product or even continue shopping. Want to narrow things down? Use the powerful filters to find exactly what you're looking for. Once you've made your selections, click on Proceed to Checkout. Fill in your delivery information and place your order. On the admin side, all orders are displayed in the admin panel. The admin can easily update the order status, and these updates are instantly reflected in the user's profile. Plus, admins can add new products at any time and they'll show up right away for customers to explore. Finally, Let's try purchasing another product. Add it to the cart, proceed with checkout, and this time, use the Stripe payment method. Just enter your delivery details, payment information, and boom, your order is successfully placed. Let's set it up step by step. Don't worry, it's super easy to follow along. Just do exactly what I do on the screen. First, you need to download VS Code. Search on Google. Click on the first link, then click on Windows button. Now simply click on this file to install VS Code. Accept the agreement, then Next, 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 and Install. It will take some time. Now I need to install Node.js search on Google, Node.js download. Then click on first link download and install Node.js, and then click on Windows installer. After completing the downloading, click on it. It will start installing. Then simply click on Next, accept the license agreement, then Next, again Next, then Add to Path, and click on Next button. And again, click on Next button, and then click on Install button. It will take some time, so keep patient. All right, we done also Node.js. Now it's time to extract the code. For source code, click on link given below in the description. Open this code in VS Code Editor. If you are newly installed VS Code and Node.js, it might be give you an error. So don't worry, I am here to solve this error. Copy this error and paste at ChatGPT. It will give you a code. Copy this code. And in Windows search box, search PowerShell, run as administrator. Paste code or type this code and press Enter. And Enter Y. We done this part also. Open.env file. Enter admin email then password. For MongoDB path, need to create a MongoDB account to store data of this project. First search on Google, MongoDB. Click on first link then click on get started then sign up with Google. Select any account then click on continue. Accept the privacy policy and terms and service and then click on submit. Then click on Skip and select Free Version. Now click on Create Deployment, Verify Captcha.
Enter username and password and click on Create Database User, and then click on Choose a Connection Method. Then click on Compass and copy this string. Now click on Network Access. Delete already created IP address. Click on Add IP Address and then click on Allow Access from Anywhere and click on Confirm button. Open VS Code, then enter MongoDB path that we created at this enter password that we entered in MongoDB account. Now it's time to create a Stripe account for secure payment processing. Stripe is an international payment gateway. For Stripe, again, search on Google, Stripe, then click on first link, then click on sign in, and then click on sign in with Google. Enter your name and click on create account button. And then click on developers button, and then click on API keys. Click on Secret Key to copy this key and paste this in VS's code. Now, last thing required that is Cloudinary account to store images. For this, again, search on Google Cloudinary. Click on first link, then click on Sign Up for free, and then click on Sign Up with Google. Skip this. Select Personal, then select your role. Then click on First Link, click on Next, then Done button, and click on View API Keys. Copy Cloud Name and paste in VS's code, then copy API Key and paste in VS's code, and at last, Secret API Key. For this, first click on View button. It will send code on your email that we used for this account. Copy code and paste in this box and click on Approve button. It will display API secret key. Copy this and paste in VS Code. All right, everything is done. Now it's time to run our project. First run backend. Right click on backend folder and then click on open integrated terminal and enter npm run start. Then right click on front end folder and then click on open integrated terminal and enter npm run dev. Copy this link and paste in any browser. At last, right-click on Admin and open in Integrated Terminal. Copy this link and open in Browser. For Admin Login, copy email and password from VS Code. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. I have more exciting projects like this coming your way. Thanks for watching, keep coding, and I'll see you in the next video.